Oh, hello there, and thanks for joining on Complicated Math today. Today we're looking at finding the least common denominator. And by the end of this video, you'll know the steps involved in finding the least common denominator when working with fractions. So let's jump right in. So in question number one, we're being asked to add one third plus two fifths. And in order for us to work through this problem, we need to find a common denominator. So now let's follow the steps involved on the right hand side here so we can figure out the least common denominator for these two fractions. And we can see that our first step here is to list several multiples for each denominator. So let's start out by listing the multiples of three. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. So now let's do the same thing for our multiples of five. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So now our second step is we need to find the lowest common multiple. And we can see here that 15 is the lowest common multiple for both three and five. So our least common denominator here is 15. So now that we've found our least common denominator, we're gonna rewrite these fractions with our new denominators. And our new denominator is 15, so let's go ahead and write that out. But in order to keep these fractions equivalent, we need to make sure that we multiply our numerators by the same value that we multiplied our denominators by to get 15. And we know that we had to multiply three times five in order to get 15, so we need to do the same thing for our numerator up top. And one times five gives us five. And now we need to do the same thing for our second fraction here. We had to multiply five times three to get 15, so we need to multiply our numerator by three as well. And two times three gives us six. So now let's try the same thing for question number two. We have three sixths plus one fourth. So you remember that the first step is to list several multiples for each denominator. So let's list the multiples of six. We have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. So now let's list the multiples of four. We have four, eight, and 12. And now we're actually gonna stop there because we've already found the lowest common multiple. We can see that 12 is a multiple of both six and four, so our least common denominator for six and four is 12. So now let's move on to step number three, which is to rewrite the fractions with the new denominators. We know that our new common denominator is 12, so we're gonna go ahead and just write our denominators of 12. And you'll remember that we need to make sure that we keep these fractions equivalent, so we're gonna multiply the numerator by the same value. And we had to multiply six times two in order to get 12, so we're gonna multiply our numerator by two as well. And we know that three times two gives us six. And now we need to do the same thing for our second fraction. We needed to multiply four times three in order to get 12, so we're gonna do the same thing for our numerator up top. And one times three gives us three. So hopefully by now you understand how to find the least common denominator when working with fractions. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.